What's up guys, I know Gil here and this is Dark Souls 3 walkthrough part 9. Last time we fought the Abyss Watchers boss fight. And now we go back to Firelink Shrine to level up. Because we have a lot of souls and stuff. Okay, we're back here and Ceres is back. So let's talk to her. She should have something to give us. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Dark Moon Loyalty If you should require assistance, use my sign. Blessing of the Moon upon your journey. So that's very important, Kestuka, that we need later. Oh, you're here. Let's talk to him at first. Ah, yeah. uh, I know you. Been some time since we met in person. Yeah, I guess. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> well, that's not a very nice thing to say. This place is a cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't hope for better. She must fit it. Jeez. Okay, let's see if we have anything cool to trade with the guy here. Aha! We have Havel Ring and Ferrin Great Sword and Wolf Knight's Great Sword and Bolter Heap. Not really anything interesting. Ah. So let's just level up well, and continue. Very well, then. Two levels, huh? I guess we can get dexterity to dirty. Farewell, Ashen. Let's do this area now. Cleansing Chapel. Okay, let's finish this area. So here's this giant, as you can see. You can cheese kill him from all the way here, actually, and kill him if you want. His weak spot is his head, if you care. Okay, good, we got it. wasn't that bad. Okay, now we can search this whole area safely. Because that giant is gonna fuck us up. If you're not gonna if you don't kill me. Solve a name a soldier and Eldoid Eldoid Eloid's sword ring. Exploding bolts. I think this actually gives uh, us that much health. Yeah, let's use this ring actually. Okay, well, fuck you. I guess we can search this area first. 
from those ladders you can get up there and kill the crossbow guy. Here's a enemy and here's a another enemy. If you have fire bombs, I would recommend using them on this guy. And you get a seek guidance miracle. And let's go up here from the ladders. Crossbow guy. I don't know where the fuck the crossbow guy went. Well, fuck. Let's go back down. Here's a chest. Or should I say, a mimic, actually. Let's kill it. Wow, I'm a fucking retard. That was fucking terrible of me. And we got a deep braille divine tome. Which we can give to the blind girl, but I wouldn't recommend it though, because there are side effects of it. These that most asshole enemies of the game. Oh, almost killed him. I'm fucking surprised I fucking managed to do that much of damage. Nice. Usually these guys are fucking hard to kill, and we even got the helmet, Katarina's night helmet. Let's heal. Just in case. Looks suspicious, doesn't it? Let's kill this asshole. Parcel. We got a old tricks sapphire and an ember. I actually, don't know what the she what the ring actually does. Covers FB when critical attacks. I guess it's a pretty useless ring if you ask me. A 
Well, this is quite annoying. I actually don't have... Oh my god, I didn't... Okay, we got invaded by our lovely, lovely friend, Kirk. Oh my god. Let's kill this asshole first. Kirk is a rather easy enemy. Hurried, asshole. Oh shit, he does a lot of damage apparently. He's rather a very easy invader to kill. As you can see. And we got a barbed straight sword and spiked shield from him. Let's get that stuff. First, large stud knight shard and dunk pie. Soul of a nameless soldier. Let's open this door now. Behind the door is a, another door. And here we have a couple of items. Saints Pythant and a Homer Bones. I don't believe there's anything else here. Let's check out the weapon actually. Here it is. Yeah, pretty shitty weapon. A weapon that nobody cares about. Let's get this item right here. Made in set. Soul of a unknown traveler. Well, I made a fucking mistake. I really need to get the fuck out of here. I guess this is a good area to fight him. If he comes here, actually. Oh boy. Where are you running? What the fuck? I do not want that. And it just fucking freaked the fuck out, I guess. Tried to roll, didn't work for some reason. Backstab? Nope. Weapon skill. And no fucking parcel for some reason. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, got him. Good. And great maze and a tiny nice shard. I remember when them they used to be the hardest fucking enemies to kill, for me at least. I 
Are there any more up around here? Dude. Fuck off. And here we have a shortcut to the bonfire, I believe. say another area. I guess we'll check that area first when we're arrested at the bonfire. Here's the bonfire. Good. Let's rest and check this area. This side area. There been a yeah okay. Is there really nothing here? I guess not. Okay, let's go up here. And he should give us a shield uh, ring. Yeah, deep ring. Which does what now? Allows a to atonement of additional spells. Pretty useless if you're not a paramancer or sorcerer. I guess this is the only way to go. Actually, let me show you something. Be aware of that. You can see there's a... One of those assholes right there waiting for you. Axe guy. Max, you can maybe hit him right here. Or not. Oh well. Oh fuck. That was stupid. We made that backstab. Okay, this isn't a illusory wall. Is this the illusory wall? No, I'm just fucking retarded, apparently. I should heal. Backstab. drop anything. Very obvious and push. There's really no point of going there, I guess. Crossbow.
because we can. And the only area now we have is this one. Okay, let's check this area first. <laughs> Heal, just in case. This guy's fucking dangerous. Oh fuck. If only I could fucking move. Okay, we got it. And here's a blessed gem. Can infuse your weapon with something? Two more of those asshole lights and a these little assholes. Not the safest area to fight these guys. Oh god. He drop? Apparently. Well, that wasn't in my, that wasn't my intention. I was trying to lead him all the way there, so I wouldn't actually drop down and die when I fought him. Would have fought him. This crossbow asshole. Very, very fucking scared of fighting him right here. Oh, really? Heavy bolts and an ember. I don't think there's anything else here. There's nothing else here to, rather than you can actually use this area as a shortcut. I guess. To here. Wait, am I retarded? Yeah, I guess we could, could always use it as a shortcut to here. Oh god. And that hunter's charm. Actually, let's go back to the bonfire. 
Yeah. Fuck you. Let's go here first. I don't remember why he... Well, never mind. Fuck that. These guys here. He isn't that tough, actually. We can just kill him normally, I guess. See, he wasn't that tough. Let's just kill these assholes because we don't actually have. Oh, actually, I can speed this shit up by changing our weapon to Pro Sword and use a. This thing. Charcoal. They should die much faster now. Was that all of them? I guess. Okay, we can just back to our old weapon. Drank shoes. Large soul of hay unknowns. A traveler. A pale tongue. Drank armor. Drank cutlets. Hammer, so we got drank set here from here. Let's go now here. Let's go here now. Kill this guy and this one. Because he's hostile to us now. An ember. I guess we can kill this guy first. Or can we? I guess we can kill this. Let's kill this guy first, actually.
least done. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Jesus Christ. This is going so fucking terribly. Are you gonna jump down? Well, you just killed yourself, you fucking idiot. Well, anyway, that went fucking terribly. Okay, this sleeping guy should be super, super fucking easy. Much, much easier. Like that. These two assholes. I guess we can just go and kill the boss because it doesn't recover recover require that much health. Here we have a couple of NPC phantoms, Horridge and Unreus of Astora. Let's just summon Henry and Horridge actually. Okay, let's do this boss fight. One of the easiest bosses of the game. Okay, let's do this shit. Deegans of the Deep. What you want to do is just focus on the guy which is glowing with that thing. Ignore all of these assholes, just focus on that guy. This guy, super easy. And now comes the real boss. Small door and solve a deacons of the deep. Thanks, guys. As you can see, super fucking easy boss. And here's the bonfire. Let's rest on it. And here's here we have a arc arc deacon set. Which many people actually miss because they don't res um, they have to respawn to the area to get that set. There isn't anything else here. So there was still one area that we haven't check out checked out actually. So let's go there. And hopefully I didn't fuck up something. Okay, here's the elevator. Here we can open a door for a shortcut 
to the area that we did in part 7, I believe. This area. Let's go up here. Kill this guy. Put sign soap stone. Fucker. God damn it. Okay, yeah, I believe that was all of them. Let's open this door. Bonfire. Let's get this thing first. And horns set because we killed the uh, invader. Let's set this bonfire. Rest on it. But let's not talk to her because it actually ruins one of the NPC quest lines if we talk to her or offer a bell tongue to her. So let's not do that. Let's do that much, much later in the game. So let's get the fuck out of here. Let's check this area actually. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's sick word. Anyone there? Anyone at all? Yo, it's me. Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? About three hours. It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Oh? Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? No, I have not, actually. Oh. Yes. I see. Not to worry. Great planning begets great fortune. An old tenant of the Knights of Katarina. And I am a master planner, I do say. Ha 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 ha. I'm in quite a pickle indeed. Maybe I can fashion a replacement from uh, the. Um, uh, mm. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we have to find his armor and give it back to him. And I might just know where that armor set is, if I didn't fuck the whole thing up. Well, okay, I guess I done goofed and kind of ruined the quest line somewhat. So here should be a NPC that has the armor set. 
and he tricks us. And he says he's secret even though he isn't and he tricks us to go here and he pulls us down there and fucks us up and stuff. So yeah, I done goofed that fucking whole thing. Oh well. Let's go back to Furling Shrine actually. Because we can find the guy from here. Let's go into the tower. And let's go up to the elevator. Okay, triggered. That's great. Let's go back down. And the gate's closed. And here's the asshole NPC. Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're amongst your own. Plenty of company, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> oh, no matter. But you. Well, you're a fucking idiot. Because I can actually. Just jump down here and survive. See, wasn't that fucking tough to survive. Okay, let's go back to the guy. And now he's here. Hey, asshole. Ah, okay. you're alive. Yeah, are you that surprised? Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts. Right? Yeah, let's forgive him for now. Oh, fantastic. A wily second chance. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion. A model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> and this guy. This piece of shit stole Sigurd's armor set. And. Let's buy it back. You go give it back to Sigbird. Hey piece of shit, unbreakable patches. Do you have anything else to say, you piece of fucking shit? Ah, I see you've made re -ran. The slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Fuck you. Let's talk to this guy, actually. You offed the Lords of Cinder, the Undead Legion. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really... Lordship's last reward. <sighs> ah, I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. Fair in ring. <laughs> I pity the sorry self. <laughs> I. Is it this one? I believe it's that one. 
This one. Oh yeah, these guys are actually here now because we killed... We helped them to kill the fucking asshole. Yo. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Amrin of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldridge's honest home is Irithil, and so becomes our. Do you have anything else to say? <coughs> interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, let's go back and give Secret his armor set. armor Oh my armor My deepest gratitude I am Siegfried of Katamina salute you With my trusty suit of armor I'll be out of here in a jiffy Until we meet again comrade <laughs> Choice. No need to worry about me. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. Until we meet again, my good friend. <laughs> no need. Okay, and that's all. Okay, let's. Um, oh, yeah, the guys disappeared from here. After our, our last conversation, the guy actually disappeared. And I believe he left us a little gift in one of these graves here. This one here. Hackwood's shield. Pretty shitty shield, if I may say. Let's go back and talk to Batches, actually. Yo. Batches squad. Oh, aren't you glad we made good of things? Can't find anything you like? Well, you could try looking a little harder. Go fuck yourself. Yes, yes. What can I do? Aren't you glad we made good of things? He doesn't... well, let's buy this fucking useless ring, I guess. Doesn't actually sell anything useful. Ah, I see you. The step. Yeah, fuck you. Thanks. Let's level up, Welcome. I guess. Very well, then. Vitality. Yeah, I guess we could... Couple of fatalities, and that's pretty much all for this episode. So thanks, guys, for watching Dark Souls Three Walkthrough Part Nine. I'm gonna kill and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.